Welcome to Rem TV. Welcome back to my OB18 franchise with the New York Mets. This is episode 19. Uh, so if you guys aren't caught up, subscribe to my channel. You'll find a playlist there. And click that notification bell to be basically told whenever I come out with a new video. Got a little tongue tied. And um, if you like what you see by the end of the video, click the thumbs up button. Um, it basically tells me you want to see more videos just like this. And again, I'm gonna repeat it again. You guys are my G or you guys are my co-GMs for the Mets. So if you guys want to see moves, if you guys want to see trades, call-ups, releases, leave it in the comments below, and I will single-handedly read your comments. Any suggestions I read out, no matter how bad or how good they are, I will call out. I'll, I'll call it out. I'll read it as I see it um, in the video. Um, so. Yeah, here we are with this May 23rd game. We got Steven Matz against Adam Conley. This is for the sweep against the Marlins. He is, uh, Steven Matz is 4-2 at 3.8 ERA. Adam Conley is 2-4 at 5.7. Uh, the Mets are trying to go for the 34th win. And let's take down the Marlins. Matz throws on a 1-2 count. It's going to be a ground of Cicchini. And it's going to be... A little high, but it's out number one. Here in the first, let's take a look at the lineup. We got Miguel Rojas, Foley, Martin Prado, Justin Board, Derek Dietrich, JT Realmuto, Stalin Castro, Lewis Brinson, Magnera Sierra, and Adam Conley. Mass looks for the strikeout. Throws, and it's a swing and a miss. That is a high and in fastball. For the second out in the first. Run to Starling Castro. Wow. Full count to Starlin. Two men on, no outs here in the second. It's going to be a double play from second to shortstop to first. That is a big double play for Steven Matz. Now it's just up to the Mets to get the final out to get them out to get them out of the inning. That was a mouthful. Full count to Brinson with a man on third. That is a check swing. Strikeout inning over. Steven Matz is able to overcome his, you know, the trouble in the second inning. As the Mets are going to be batting next. Ooh, that is a, that is a no-doubter for Travis Darno. Second deck. That was up there. I thought that was a little early. But as soon as it swung, it switched to that home run camera. Wow, they got out of here in a hurry. The Mets are up 1-0 here in the second inning. Travis Darno seems like he's having a career year, staying healthy for the Mets. That's the seventh home run and 21 RBIs in the season. Let's take a look at our replay. Boom. As soon as he made contact, he knew it was gone. Full count. No man out. Oh my gosh, that is a ball? Look at that. Mick Callaway is unhappy. Look at him. As now the base is low with no outs. Here in the fourth, Steven Matz has been putting on too many people on. He could actually walk in a run. They're gonna, they're gonna give up that run, and he's mm, safe at first. So it's gonna be runners with at the corners, and now the game's had one to one. Jeez, man! Oh my goodness! And no one went after the ball in time, and now it's two to one Marlins with that infield single. Oh my god! And things are just falling apart for the Mets here. That is an error by Todd Frazier. It is now bases loaded with one out. There you go. Should be a double play. Out at second. Out at first. And that's a double play. It is now 2-1 to one to end the fourth inning.
Todd Frazier drives it to deep right field, and it's out of here. That's an opposite field home run for Todd Frazier. It is now tied 2-2 two two with an upper deck shot to right field. Hitting that Pepsi porch as the Mets tie the game. Todd Frazier has actually been struggling in the month of June, or rather May. And this is maybe what he needs. Two and one and two to Jason Bohr. One and two to Jason Bohr. Got him looking with a slider. That is a nasty slider by Jaselman. That is a good inning out of the bullpen, filling in for Mats. That is the end of the top of the seventh. It's gonna be a base hit by Brinson. He's going to play the plate. Lagares throws, and he is safe. And now it's three to two Marlins here at the top of the eighth. Oh man, Jasmine giving up, I think, three straight hits here in the eighth. And it's going to be a base hit. The base is loaded. This might be two runs. Jonas throws it home. That is going to be 5-2 to two Marlins on a two-run single. Oh my goodness, and this adds on to the lead. It's going to be 7-2 to two Marlins. They exploded with a five-run inning. It seems like the Mets in real life where the bullpen just explodes. That's a two-run double man, Martin Prado. Okay, so that's a ball game. And we end up losing uh, this this uh, final game of the series. Eight to two uh, behind uh, the bullpen's self-destructive ways. Just Hellman had a really good first inning. And for some other reason, just fell apart, uh, giving up five runs. Uh, through four hits and one walk. Uh, Romuto, the player of the game, with two singles and <laughs> two or three walks. Uh, Jay Guerra gets the win. And now the Mets, uh, you know, they gotta. I gotta see if this is a fluke or whatever, but I'm not exactly happy with how that happened. Um, the bullpen just kind of fell apart. Um, then on, so then we are going to. Simulate this game here and six lineups. Whoa, whoa, this is a big trade. Wow, Luis Severino gets sent to the White Sox for Yuan Moncada. Wow, that's a big, big trade. And we won eight to six. I apologize for my phone beeping in the background. Um, it was um, offensively David Wright had a home run I guess he played he had 5 RBIs what a beast uh, Cabrera with an RBI as well as Flores at 2 Cespedes was hit by a pitch and let's take a look at the pitching for the Mets and it looks like Lugo got the win Arrieta went six, uh, 5 innings giving up 6 runs 4 walks and had 3 strikeouts Robles Ramos had a hold, and Familia came in for his 19th save of the season. And the next game we've been playing is with Zach Wheeler, who's still undefeated with a nasty ERA, 1.93. Going for his fourth win against Jordan Montgomery, who's 4-4, four four, a 6.5 ERA. And we're going to be facing the 28-23 Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, leave any comments below. Uh, what you guys want to see in my season if you guys want people to be traded called up released whatever and I will read your comments and even probably post it on the video um, as I read it and yeah again I hope you guys liked it click the thumbs up button I hope you guys have a great day take it easy and peace